Off the show today is the president of the Jefferson County Commission, Steve Stolifer. Steve, good morning. How are you, sir? Good morning. How are you? Great to have you with us. I'm well. Thank you. Steve, do you have experience with horses? I do. I grew up with horses. I grew up in for the 4-H system here in Jefferson County, and I showed horses up and down the East Coast. Yes, sir. I was going to say, I thought I remembered something to do with horses in your background. Mr. Gilstrap is going through some leadership Berkeley training, and yesterday he had some experience with horses. He learned how to brush a horse, lead a horse. Uh, with saddle a horse. Saddle a horse. All that stuff for the first time, right? No, I had done it before. No. Oh. I, had, I, I thought had... this was all new to you, the way you were talking about it. No, in fact, I was um, leadership. Berkeley is 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 the program, and yesterday was at with um, horses with hearts. Yeah, is Kay Barkwell. Um, Kay Barkwell, and um, it, it's a it's a lovely program, mm -hmm. um, and it's it's just I don't know, it's, it's kind of an educational program. I I had done it before. They left out some of the stuff that I had learned. I worked at a summer camp for overprivileged rich kids when I was in. in uh, <laughs> they don't have enough of those. You know? <laughs> I, those poor was, kids <laughs> every summer. What, what will they do with their time? And uh, then we we would saddle the horses. Those those horses would like puff up when you put the saddles on. Yeah. So when the kids would get on, the saddles would be loose and would fall off. So you'd have to kind of poke the horses in the ribs with your knee to get them to exhale to mm -hmm. cinch up the. Cinch. That's a neat little trick, Steve. But they didn't. They left that part out when we were dealing with the horses there. Steve, do you have any fun tips about dealing with horses? Yes. If you ever, uh, if, if you are an experienced rider and you go uh, to out, out of town and people want to go on a horseback uh, riding exercise, um, check the box that you are a rookie horse rider. If not, they will put you on the rank of thing you have. They have just so you can help break their horses and train them um i had that happen to me in the caribbean one time and it wasn't a, a joyful experience so next time i know to check the box <laughs> that i have never rode a horse before and uh therefore i won't be training their horses when i'm on vacation <laughs> that's a good uh, good tip i think uh, Bill, you rode horses in the desert, did you not? I've, I've ridden horses quite a bit, yes. Yeah. I enjoy horses. Right. I did learn something I hadn't learned before, that if the horses are very sensitive to weight shifts in, in the saddle, and yeah. that when the rider turns his head, that's that's a shift that the horse senses. So it's really important if you're going to keep the horse happy and settled and not confused, you got to keep your eyes where you want to go. So if you're going forward don't be turning your head all kinds of different directions because that, that confuses the horse. That's what I was told. I'm guessing if you woke up with a stiff neck, you're just going in circles all day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Steve, <laughs> let's, uh, let's talk Jefferson County here for uh, a minute and uh, came across an article, I guess, uh, late last week in regards to some public input and hearing over a water bottling company in Jefferson County around Middleway and some interested uh, citizens who had some concerns. Can you talk about that uh, if, if you uh, have detailed information on it, Steve? Yes, I, I'd be happy to talk about it. Um, as, as you may be aware, uh, state code requires a county commissioner to be on the uh, planning commission. Um, we pick boards every year, and I just so happen to be the county commissioner that sits on the planning commission uh, per state code. Um, there was a uh, concept plan that was submitted to the Planning Commission uh, for approval. It is a uh, state-of-the-art uh, bottling, water bottling facility. And um, this uh, facility is going to create um, a lot of non-commuter jobs to allow West Virginians to participate in the American dream. Um, you know, there has been some concern with the locals. Um, and... And they have some valid concerns um, because basically they're going to extract the water from the ground. They're worried about um, the aquifer, uh, which is a, certainly a valid concern. There's also valid concerns about traffic. Um, you know, this uh, property uh, is a former 3M plant, Kodak plant. And then at one time in the early 80s, I believe it, I read somewhere it was a woolen mill. Um, the property is zoned industrial. Um, it is a by right use for this uh, bottling facility. And uh, um, it certainly could be, there could be a lot of different uses on this property. 
um, but they, the owners decided to, to go with a, a bottling facility. How many jobs are we talking about, Steve? I'm hearing in upwards of, a, of about 500 jobs and once we, it's fully uh, at full capacity. And do we know the average wage? I'm hearing the – I do not know the average wage, but um, I haven't heard that yet. No, my apologies. Okay. In regards to the concerns of the residents, you said that those concerns are valid. Is there a possibility if this water bottling plant – uh, did set up shop there that the local residents who depend on, who depend on I presume, is, is there a lot of well water in that area that, that they would, uh, their wells, their concern would run dry? There's a there's an aquifer referred to as Lake Louise. Mm -hmm. um, the, the owners of the 3M property, which I'll refer to it as, own Lake Louise. Uh, Lake Louise is not adjacent to the property. It's a couple miles down the road, and that is where this large aquifer is. The, uh, the applicant, um, they did uh, complete a hydrology test, um, as I'll call it a stress test, on this uh, aquifer, and they pumped out, and I forget the exact number, I want to say 1,200 gallons a minute for, for a week to, to see the stress of the aquifer. And essentially, there was uh, little to no stress on the aquifer. Um, however, you know, obviously this, this gets locals, uh, some of the locals, up, upset because uh, potential uh, dry, well, potentially drying up this aquifer, and then their wells go dry. But based on this study, I don't see that that could happen unless you have a shallow well. Now, the applicant did offer uh, some proffers if you are in a certain proximity to the aquifer and you're if you want a new well they will drill you a new well so that's one of the proffers that they're coming in and trying to be good neighbors of yours and is it a pretty much done deal that this company's coming in steve or is it still in question well the planning commission uh during the concept plan the planning commission uh, voted that the, they had more questions. So they voted unanimously that the application was incomplete and they needed more information. Um, the Planning Commission does not have a role to deny the concept plan. It's either provide us more information or we'll proffer items and they can, the applicant then, then can choose whether, whether or not what they will proffer. Um, so again, it's I, I use the term by right. It's by right use. Mm -hmm. uh, so so that's that's sort of where we are right now. Um, they're going to they're going back and get, gathering information, and they will eventually make their way back to the planning commission. State Senator Jason Barrett is listening to the program, and he posted a question: Who owns Lake Louise? Do you know the answer to that question, Steve? Yes, the owner of Lake Louise is the same people who own the 3M. Uh, the 300 acres, which is the former 3M property, that that property is sold, was sold, uh, is owned by the same company and the same the same entity. Bill Stubblefield, former Again, president. Again, it's, it's not Lake Louise is not adjacent. About two miles away, you said, I think. Yeah. What's the depth of Lake Louise? Yes, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. What's the shallow depth of Lake Louise? Do you know? Um, I'm hearing rumors that someone sent a camera or, or some type of a device down in Lake Louise and it went 300 feet. Okay. And it, 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 it was, uh, or no, three, no, 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 thousand, sorry, a thousand feet, a thousand feet. And it continued. They, I guess they ran out of, they, they, they ran out of, uh, I don't know, rope for yeah. lack of a better word. Yeah. I don't know. No, no, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be, be cable. Was, yeah. They, nobody really knows. I was I was looking at the shallow end, not the de okay. not the deep end, and I was look, trying to get a feel: is it new water oh. or or is it new water or old water? Is in other words, is it being recharged, um, or do you uh, or is it kind of static, been there for several years? That I can't answer. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know. And you mentioned the planning commission does not have the authority to uh, to uh, not allow. 
to go forward? I'm surprised. Did I misinterpret? Did I misinterpret? Yeah, I mean, the only thing that Atlantic in Michigan. No, you know, you're exactly right. I mean, the, the this is a this is a by right use, and the planning commission cannot they cannot deny the uh, application. They can either accept it or deem it incomplete and receive more information. Um, one of the things that is confusing with some of the residents, uh, they believe that the planning commission um, has control of water. The planning commission cannot deny this project because of water. Uh, and the water rights because the state owns some water rights. It's not the authority of the planning commission uh, to deny a project for water rights. The same reason it's not the role of the planning commission to deny a project because of because of the roads because the roads are also owned by the state. Yeah, I Berkeley County is not interpreted the same way as, uh, as Jefferson County in that regard because Berkeley County does have ordinances in place uh, that would uh, that would examine the amount of groundwater available, and if there's not adequate groundwater, groundwater, then they do not approve any plans. Yeah, it's my understanding that Ber- Berkeley County does have a hydrology test for lots of more than fifteen. And it's also I've, we've done some research on that down here in Jefferson County, and uh, it's, it's also my understanding that they have never um, had a, a negative test result, nor have they had done anything with that. But um, I understand Berkeley County does have a um, hydrology test um, for more than uh, 15 residential lots. And again, the um, this the the applicant did do a hydrology test on Lake Louise, so they, there is a test on yeah. that on that lake. And that sounds like a robust uh, uh, test as well. So, so, yeah. John Gilstrap. Yeah, I, I'm looking at the. Uh, yes, um, sir. It was a. Go ahead. Please finish your thought. Okay. Oh, oh, yes. Um, I, I, I was I was going to say that the test was done by a. Um, engineering firm, uh, uh, I think it was triad, and triad engineering was what, what I was saying. Thank you. Um, I've, I've got the um, write-up from West Virginia Public Broadcasting about the, um, the the meeting here, and apparently, apparently it was it was quite the meeting. Went on for five hours with with a lot of speakers. Went on past midnight, and just one of the quotes that jumps out at me from Jefferson County resident, Mary Gee, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, when water levels drop critically low in Jefferson County, residents and farmers, not this California company will suffer water restrictions. It, if, if the drumbeat is very strong, if the, uh, in resistance to this, uh, to this company is the request for more information, really just a delaying tactic on the way to no. No, I, I don't think so. I think there's I think there's ways to mitigate a lot of their concerns. Um, you know, they might be might be setting their wellheads at a certain uh, the, the the withdrawal wellhead at a certain level. It might be examining uh, wells and, and the, the neighboring wells and their depth. Now, um, again, the like I said, the locals in Middleway they do have some valid concerns. Uh, now, I, I want to back up for a second there's essentially two groups that are fighting this uh there are the local middleway uh residents who live down in middleway that are that are anti-bottling company uh completely understand their concerns i've talked to a lot of them and a lot of a lot of the folks that i grew up with here uh they have reached out to me and then the other group who is against this bottling company is the I call it the activist group who is part all part of the anti Rockwell hoax group, and this group is against everything uh, that comes into Jefferson County. You know when Rockwell came in, they were anti Rockwell and they wanted green stuff. Uh, we had solar farms; they're against solar farms. They said we need tourism. Well, members of their group showed up at a planning commission meeting, and they spoke against a bungee cord jumping uh, facility that would enhance our successful outdoor activities here in Jefferson County. And now they are against uh, environmentally friendly jobs. Because I'll say that because, uh, um, again, this property is zoned industrial and 
the use could be a lot more um, aggressive, so to speak. Um, I understand they have concerns about the wells, but this could this facility could have certainly could have smokestack if it wanted if there's a user for that. Um, until Rockwell came in, this facility was the only property in Jefferson County that had gas, so it made it relatively attractive to some more heavier type of users. Just wanted to put that out there to, mm-hmm. for, you know, for your viewers. And Steve, this facility will effectively extract water and bottle it and then ship it out around the area, around the country. Is that the deal? Uh, that's, I believe that's the plan, yes, sir. Is there something special about this water? I think the company is, is Mountain Pure Bottling Company. Is this going to be like a Perrier or is, is it a High end, yeah, yeah high end. Spe- something special about the mineral waters coming out of Middleway. I don't know the I don't know the specifics on the what brand they're going to um, flag put on, on their flag of this water. I do not know. Sorry, Steve. Let me go back to a point that we were discussing earlier about the approval. You mentioned planning commission does not does not have the authority to not approve. Uh, what about the county commission? The uh, this this project will not go before the um, all the all the approvals that is uh, deemed necessary will go through the county. Uh, excuse me, the planning commission. The only t- uh, the only thing uh, could potentially could potentially go before the county commission is a rezoning. But this property has been zoned industrial since the, the, since we had zoning in Jefferson County, so it's always been uh, zoned industrial. So help me connect the dots here because I, I'm confused. A uh, project comes before the Planning Commission. Planning Commission does not have the authority to disapprove. The, uh, it will not go before the County Commission, so the County Commission is going to be an absent uh, uh, participant here. Uh, so that would imply what you've told me, that a project, any project could come in, cannot be disapproved by the Planning Commission. Therefore, by automatic, it's going to be approved. What's, what's wrong with that story? Well, that- let me let me probably back up a little bit and explain a little bit more details. The planning commission's role is to make sure that the uh, the setback there there are approvals, there are there are items that this applicant has to achieve to get their approvals. Let me back up there, Bill. Um, the property uh, the the county planning commission has to approve the stormwater management plan. They have to approve their setbacks. They have to approve the number of parking lots, the number of EDA parking lots. Uh, and all that, yeah, there is a there is an approval, the checklist that they have to go by. So it's just not automatically, okay, here's your permit, okay? There are things that they do have to comply. Um, they have to get a road, um, a highway entrance permit. They have to show their their road, um, how, how they're going to construct their roads, how they're going to construct their buildings, their setbacks, their storm to mansion. There are things that they have to do. But it's sort of like how I would, how our attorney uses this example a lot. Sort of like you, you go, you, you want a driver's license and you go to the DMV and you take your written driver's test. And then you go back to the DMV and you take your, your other test. You take your, you take your written, then you take your driving. And then you should expect a driver's license. They can't just deny you because they don't like the color of your hair. Same, it's the same process. They have, they have to submit their plans for stormwater management setbacks, road, highway entrance permits, and then they will receive their certificates, for, for lack of a better word. But, the and one, it, but it is a by right use that is industrial. But the one thing you've not mentioned is availability. In this case, it appears to have sufficient water based upon the test. But the, the criteria that you listed did not include the availability of water. Well, again, water, they have to have uh, sanitary water and sewer, which they will have. Um, but, the, again, water rights is controlled by the state. So we, we cannot deny uh, any application, for that matter, for they, have, they, they are required to have sanitary water and sewer, which they do have. But as far as the bottling side of it, we cannot deny, deny them access to this aquifer and say we don't like you drawing uh, water out of the aquifer. 
Well, there's, there's a long history in, in Berkeley County. They've done just that. Two minutes to go, Steve. The, the request for more information, how long does the company have to respond to that, and then what happens after they provide it? The, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, once, once they gather up their information, they will make an application again with the Jefferson County Planning Commission. Uh, there's a 21-day advertisement period, and then there will be another public hearing. Uh, Steve, in, in general, you mentioned there's a bunch of folks who are against pretty much everything in Jefferson County. But otherwise, from the people who fear that their wells will be affected by this, is there a way to assuage their fears and have this project go forward? Um, I, I think so. I think if, um, if, if there's a, in, in my opinion, uh, if, if we know the depth of the, the wellhead that's going to be uh, – taking water out of Lake Louise, and then we know the depth of the neighboring wells, I think that will um, alleviate a lot of concerns. I, I don't know those depths right now. I don't know. I'm not sure if the applicant knows all the depths of the surrounding wells. So essentially, if you're, if, if you're setting your wellhead at a facility at, I don't know, 200 feet, and, all, and that's where you're going to draw your water from the aquifer, and all the neighboring wells around you are 400 feet, there's virtually no way that the, the, the neighboring wells will go dry. So I think that that's one way to alleviate some concerns. We'll see what the applicant comes back with. Steve, thanks so much for your time this morning. Thank you. Have a good day. Steve Stolifer, president of the Jefferson County Commission.